first off, what do you think needs to happen in the next several years in a new presidential term in order to, to close the gap? And are we heading in, that, in the right direction? Well, before we find a policy solution, we have to understand the reason why there is this rise in inequality. I think it's a combination of factors that are complicated. One is that technological innovation is becoming increasingly capital intensive, skill buyers, and labor saving. You know, eventually, the robots are going to replace lots of not just blue collar, but even white collar jobs. And secondly, Trade and globalization has led to competition from Asia and other parts of the world for uh, low-value-added, uh, low-skilled jobs, both in manufacturing but now in services that are becoming tradable. Third of all, there is this uh, winner-take-all superstar effect, right? If you are the best trader, the best banker, the best lawyer, the best uh, business anchor or economist or, <laughs> or the rock, best star, uh, rock star or athlete, of course, you have a, now a market of potentially billions of consumers of your products and services, and therefore but isn't they that get the way more of the benefits of that globalization. It's so there are many different factors that are leading to this concentration of income and wealth. Right, and that would say, though, that <clears> that's how capitalism works, right? This is, this is, the, way the, uh, this is the way a free economy economy works. It does, but then, first of all, there is studies even by MF suggested the rise in inequality leads to social and political instability. Secondly, it has also a negative impact on growth because you are redistributing income from those who have a high marginal propensity to spend, low income individuals, to those who have a higher marginal propensity to save that are high net worth individuals or corporations. So that reduces consumption growth and the growth of the economy. And you have to address it. And of course, the way to address it has to be education, skills, retraining, making sure that even those who don't have the ability can join this digital economy and bridge the digital divide. So you cannot sit and do nothing about it. I would rather tax the rich, not to redistribute, but rather to so invest into education. Yeah, I think that eventually... You'd rather pay higher taxes. I, I would personally, and I think that it's going to be unavoidable. In a democracy, we're going to be in a situation that if there is a rise in inequality, we'll have to tax those that are both lucky and also deserving of having these benefits coming from globalization, trade, and technology. There is no other solution. Otherwise, there's going to be severe social and political instability.